So in your first book, you said you were going to tell us the story of when your sister was chased by a pig on the playground. <laughs> you know, I... I never forget. I d I'm... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to tell my friend Karen um, that you asked that question because when she, I sent her like the the original, and she was like, you know, you didn't tell. There's two stories in there you didn't tell. You were gonna tell in the first one, and I was like, well, maybe I'll just keep saying like, oh, that's in the next book. And she was like, yeah, you're a liar. Basically, is what you are. Um, so, so I and actually did have it in there, and then it got cut, and so it'll probably will be in the next one. But really, long story short, my sister got chased on the playground by a pig. Um, <laughs> Uh, and that this was um, this was after the geese. Uh, so we so we lived we lived out in the country, and you know, I mean just like super crazy rural. And our neighbors owned prize show pigs, um, so pretty glamorous, right? Um, these were not just like normal pigs; they were like fancy pigs. And uh, but they would all they would get out all the time. And when they would get out, they would like come over to our house, and then they would lay their pig babies. Um, that's not what it's called, but like it's like laying eggs, but live eggs. I don't know. I'm not good with science. Um, but I'd always like find these babies, and I'd be like, ah, oh, babies! And let me tell you, if you get close to babies while the mama pig is there, that mama pig will fucking kill you. Like she, she's just like she's like, mm -mm, no, you are not cute. Get away. They're like grizzly bears. Um, is if they were wearing coats, they would be scarier. Uh, but they, but anyway, so apparently well, this mama pig had la had like had babies like on our playground because it was right next to the, because we lived like here was us, there was our school, there's the pig farm. So like that was the corner of crazy is what that was. And, um, and so my sister got chased down by this because she was too close to like a litter that was like hidden underneath the slides. And this slide, they weren't even like real slides. They were, I don't, I don't know if this is like just a Texas thing, but um, when I was a kid, we didn't have like the real, you know, like they have like the, the cool plasticky kind of slides and they're not real slides and you get on them and you get stuck because you're old. Um, <laughs> but even kids get stuck. Okay, so we, uh, like the farmers around, they would get old sheet metal and they would make us our slides, right? And the slides would be like three stories tall, you know? They would just be, and they're made out of sheet metal so they're super bumpy and they just like, you fry all your skin off immediately because it's so hot. Just terrible. But anyway, this pig was like, this is where I should have babies. <laughs> She was not a good mother. Um, and it, anyway, then she chased on my sister, and um, I thought it was really funny. And I, I felt bad about it later, which is part of the reason why it's not in there yet, because I, I had to find a good way to put it in the book that's not just like, hey, you want to hear something terrible that happened to my sister? There has to be like an actual moral, I think. But I haven't found a moral yet. But thank you for calling me out. And Hi guys, thanks for watching this Politics and Prose Events Essential. We are a bookstore, so if you're interested in checking out the books featured in this video, click here to buy it from our website. If you want to watch more highlights from our other spectacular events, click here. To watch the full version of this author's talk, click here. Or to stay up to date on all of our events, follow our social media accounts by clicking these guys down here. And don't forget to check out our whole channel and subscribe to our other videos. Do that by clicking on the Politics and Prose logo up here in this corner. Right here. Click. Thank you. So nice. So nice. You guys are the greatest. So great.